Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 18 on my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. Currently, we're sitting in a fourth position and as you know, games in hand to teams around us and only the three points away from first. So, like I've been saying, we're in a solid position to get promoted this season, but I've got to think for a second. If I get promoted, I'm going to be in a harder league next season. That's going to be tough. We're going to have to push on. We're going to have to build a better team. It's very interesting. What would you think will be best? Like, Do you think it's good to get promoted when your team is only mid-table expectations because you don't have superstar players, of course? Like Going in the league above, it's going to be tough. We're going to have to make some really good signings uh, to compete at that level because we're probably going to be expected to come maybe relegated or something like that. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, leave your thoughts on the situation if I get promoted with my current players. But as I said, I'm probably going to let go uh, quite a few and build uh, with some other players. Just I'm hoping I'm going to get some decent funds for next season. But um, yeah, we'll see what kind of situation we're in. But here, Galinar is going to come back in. McKenzie, I feel, is going to need another game. And the other guy needs a rest because, yeah, he's not got great fitness right now. Uh, Darren Stride, he had a good game though. But yeah, we have to leave him out. Bring in Keeper. Jim Rollo will come on for low, a bit more of a defensive player. It's good to play away, even though sometimes I play low anyway. It just it depends on the balance of the team. Noah Keats, he probably deserves a start, doesn't he? But who am I know, I'm going to take out Allen, drop Jack into that ball-winning midfielder in a support role, in, like as a centre mid. Uh, Keats, attacking midfielder. Joe Burnell actually going to come in. Actually, mm, what should I do? I'm going to take Wilson off, actually. Put Keats as a striker because he can score. Burnell, then Jack back into his natural position. Okay, that's a bit better. Then Adelsbury there because you know Adelsbury can be dangerous from long shots as he has done for this season. He scored a lot of goals. He scored nine goals and four from penalties. He's increasing in some attributes. He's going to be amazing for us uh, moving forward. So you've got the keeper. We've got a left back to come on, uh, Aaron Brown. Then we've got Pratt as a striker. We've got Scott Wilson as well. So I don't think we need two strikers. Oh, yeah, but Pratt can play attacking midfield or wide on the right than Chris Allen also. So it's a good mixture. We could go for Yeah, first, once again, we are fourth. There you see there, yeah. We're fourth and we're looking to go first. But we need we would need quite a few goals and rely on Eastley to lose. Uh, but let's push on here. Hayes, let's say assertively second option. And let's go into the game. Anthony Jack has picked up 13 assists for, uh, through the course of the season. Dan Thompson has actually scored a lot of goals for them. So he's a physical striker, tall striker. He's someone we have to watch out for. Come on, win the header. Bernal. Gallinar. Well done. Oh, Stern, who he almost intercepted. Hippo Lights. Thompson, they're passing well. They look dangerous. Oh, good defending again, Bernal. Oh, giving away. Rollo wins it back. Now go. Jack. Plays to Stern. Rollo! Haha. <laughs> Who said he wasn't attacking? He's a defensive. He's more defensive than our other right back. And he came up and scored. The experience of Jim Rollo comes up and scores his first of the season. He made the run. See, he's smart. He's got smarts because he's experienced. He knows when to make the runs. Perfect start here. And Rollo, he gets a lecture from the referee. He's probably older than the referee. Win it back off. Rollo again, he's up for today's game. He is up. Adelsbury plays it through. Nah. They have to be careful because we could score another. Well, no, they could. I shouldn't have said that. They'll probably score now. Nah. Not from there, from a lower league player. Even though he scored a lot of goals this season, Dan Thompson, I would imagine a lot would come from his head, the ex-Portsmouth player. Yep, going in winning. What more can I ask from my team? Let's say assertive now and I'm... Don't get complacent. Goalkeeper looking stressed. Let's just say this pressure is off. Yes, I fixed it. <laughs> get in. So that was a perfect team talk at the end. Half time. Ooh, we're just giving away free kick. Williams offside. Ball with the long throw to Keats. He's going to score. Oh, yes. We're looking odds on now. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing to get that number one position. 
what a season it would be. Poor positioning by their centre-back and Keats. He just headed it over the top of the keeper. Oh, can we score here? Adelsbury. You know he's good from the free kicks. He tried to set that one up. Probably wasn't the great move because they're going to counter here, but Ball wins it back. Well done, son. But now Adelsbury finds Stern. Oh, we've got this. We've got it. Now go for the goal difference. Goal difference could be crucial. We've got him on the ropes. Stern made sure he was offside. Oh, yeah, he wasn't offside and easily went past the keeper there. No idea what he was doing. Now keep pushing. Push for another goal. Well, it could be. This could be a huge game. Oh, almost through. McKenzie win it. Well done. Bernal, Jack. Oh, no. Oh, what's that? Red? Oh, just a yellow. Go, McKenzie. New signing to the team. Roller gets passed again to Stern. Keats. Oh. He had goal at his mercy. Oh, no. Not a corner. Ah. They get a goal back. Come on, let's make some fresh changes. Anthony Jack deserves a rest. We'll bring on Chris Allen. Keats to come off as well for Scott Wilson. Then Aaron Brown for Ball, who's had a good game, but he needs a break. Actually, they'll take him off. Nah, yeah, he does have... Oh, should I or not? Nah, it has to be about match conditioning for future games. So everything is going to plan right now. Aaron Brown. Can we get another? Uh, I meant to say the second option, but whatever. We're still going to win this game, of course. But I wanted that goal difference. But still, plus two is not too bad. But it could be plus three from Adelsbury. That was a dangerous free kick. But now they're going to counter. No! Ooh, <laughs> lucky he, he's grabbed. Uh, well, they could have scored from that. Well, oh, big win here. We pretty much dominated this game, if I'm honest. Like, always look like scoring. It's been great. And now here, my team, even with playing on attacking, they know. My team just know to keep possession like that uh, towards the end of the game. They're smart. I love that. It's a passionately... That was insane. Yeah, it was a good result, but the way they played as well. We're pushing up. We're on equal points now. Only goal difference away, and we've got that game in hand. We're in the box seat. Oh, come on. I just, if everything, if we can just keep playing the way we are, it will be perfect. Just don't drop off. Made some other signings, you know. Uh, Stern has had a great season. He's a guy who's going to be pushing for a new contract. Would he want less? Nah, he wants more, like a lot more. Won't be able to negotiate for less. Okay, what's this guy? Oh, he's having a look. Yeah, there's interest, actually. There's interest for our goalkeeper from Borham Wood, who's actually the one of the better teams in the league who we're overtaking currently. They're definitely taking a look at him because he's saving a lot of chances. And if I go to him, what does he want on the contract? Yeah, after 300. I can't offer that. I can't offer that. Okay, let's go. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to play this next game here, and the next episode will be the next two. And then it's going to be the intake, because I think it's like the 13th or something. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to check it out, because there's a website uh, you can check out to see uh, when the youth intakes are for each day. So I'll make sure I know when it is. But again, it's a crucial game against Bassing Stoke. We could go first. Again, I keep saying it, every game. We've got to keep up the results, and we can. Look, I'm so excited to show the last, I don't know, four episodes or whatever that have been insane results. Like, the since the start of this, the year. It's been, we're favourites. Pratt faces his former club, who are sitting in 10th. Not really a threat, or threat in my view. <laughs> Not a threat. Um, Jack, yeah, he's been crucial. He probably does deserve that new contract. He's got all the assists. Not all the assists, he just got a lot. So come on a win here would be great. Let's go match. Kirsten McKenzie will go out. He needs a little bit of a break and we'll bring Stride in. Just keep rotating those couple in. Let's try Aaron Brown as a winger for Williams. Williams 
I know it's hard to say. He's been a mix. Like this guy's good at dribbling and crossing. Like he can get some dangerous balls, and he's got strength and pace and natural fitness. So it's a pretty good mix for him. I'm going to bring on Scott Wilson, who I thought picked up an injury in the last game. Josh Lowe will come on for Rollo. I'm just keeping those rotations up. Connolly, yeah, I'm going to let him go end of the season. Like I said, he hasn't had a good season, really. He hasn't been that great. Jack, when's the next game? How far away? Oh, it's a big break, isn't it? It's like 10 days or something. So I'll leave them in. It doesn't matter about fitness in this game. Chris Allen, oh, I don't know. He's, he's quality, but my team is playing well. I don't want to make so many changes because uh, we're playing well. Let's see. We could go first here. Once again. I keep saying that. Every opportunity. Let's say... Oh, it's home, isn't it? Do it for the fans. They've supported us this season. When we started well. Really, really well at the start of the season. Then we started to drop. They supported us. And kept us going. Kept the faith. And we're in the position now we are. Go Gallinar, low, really experienced team. Really experienced at the back now, especially in this game. Like Gallinar, Stride, well, apart from Ball, but he's quality player. Adelsbury to Jack, Ball getting forward to Brown. Let's see what he can do in this position. What can he do? Wilson, oh. Good start, good start creating a chance here. Uh, well done, fortunate couldn't score. Got to defend this. Well done, my law. Confident. Sometimes, like, at this level, you can see them making mistakes. Like, that's happened before, definitely. Like, they drop it or something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wilson. Lucky he wasn't injured because he scored here today at home. Could be sending us back to the top. Like I said before, we started good to the season. Or started well. And we were sitting top for a while. Then we dropped off. But now we're looking to go back where we belong. Go Brown. Ooh. Depending who next... If we get the next goal... Okay, I can't get too excited. They may score. Got to be careful. Adelsbury. Okay, good tackle. Yeah, if, I was going to say, if we get the next goal, we could potentially push on and get that goal difference as well because we need that. We don't have the best. Oh, no. Kaba. Good save, Mallor. Once again, comes up for us. He's been so good. No wonder other teams are interested in him. He's been insane. Ball to Jack. Ball. Adelsbury. Ball again. It was dangerous cross. Stride. Gallinar. Low. Use your attacking skills. He does. Jack. Get in. Get in. We've got this. We're moving top. Look at that ball from right back. Perfect. And Jack to get in the space. Scores his sixth goal of the season. Hasn't scored heaps. You know, he's more so creating the goals. But six goals, not bad for a midfielder. Got to be careful here. Cab is on. Oh, good defender. Who was that? Six. Bernal. Again, experience showing. Could we go for 3-0 at half time? Bernal getting forward again. Adelsbury to Jack. Plays through Brown. That's three. What a good move, pushing him into a wing position. That was a great ball, though. Jack, once again, with another assist. But the hit, though, that power. Wow. 3-0. But again, Jack has pulled the strings in midfield. Uh, he's been our current best player in this game to half time. I'm very pleased with that. Like on the, We're hitting form at the best time possible, really. Even if somehow, if we don't, but on this form, we are. We're going to come first if we keep this up. We just need to keep it up and we've got it. No. No, let's just, no, let's just make sure of it. Don't worry about goal difference. Just contain. Make sure we pick up the three points. We'll bring Jack off. It's all about match fitness now. We'll bring on Keats. Uh, we'll bring on Allen uh, for Stern. Just give some rest to some better players here. Uh, ball, take him off and bring on Williams in a left-back position, but then we'll bring Brown back there. Going on contain, just make sure we hold on to this result. Just make sure we win. Because on this form, we don't need goal difference. We're going to finish first on this form. 
There we go. And we still create chances on contain as well, which is funny to think. But just, yeah, a waste a bit of time. Just prevent them creating chances. But they have one here. But easily defended. Now we push. Keats. Ooh. That was very well done. Williams plays through to Wilson. Nah. I wouldn't say he says he hangs his head in shame. It wasn't that like embarrassing shot. It was just a shot at the keeper. Yeah, again, Malor, he's been good. Sure, you're going to concede goals here and there, but he's been solid uh, on most occasions. Keats, Gallinar, Bernal, Wilson, Adelsbury through the middle to Wilson. Ooh. See, we created another chance. That's good. We get a corner. Chris Allen puts it in. It's a poor corner. Really poor. What's happened? Oh, Stride got injured. Well, we're going to win it anyway. I'll just push uh, Bernal to there. Adelsbury in his position. Yeah, he's going to have to come off. Oh, yeah, we're going to win here anyway. Hopefully, it's not a serious injury. But we'll see. It's over there. Well done. Pick up the three points with three goals. Uh, amazing first half, and we continued on with the performance. A good win. Very good win. Jack, of course, will get the player of the match. <laughs> oh, we're still not first. But we have that game in hand, so I'm not really worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. We're On this form, we can beat anyone. So I'm not worried about that at all. Eastley win 4-0. Ah, they're, they're going to be hard to beat their goal difference because it's like five more and they keep winning. But I just need to keep winning. I, if I don't lose a match from here on out, I'm going to win because I have we're on the same points with the game in hand. Excellent. But there's still heaps of games coming, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Bromley, manager got sacked. Jack. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So we have been absolutely dominating right now. It's great stuff. Great stuff to show. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.